So yesterday, the Packers made a few different moves I want to get into. First off, they released wide receiver Bo Melton and running back James Robinson. Both of those guys were added to the active roster from the practice squad last Wednesday before the Lions game. Bo Melton, because Dontavian Wicks was dealing with an injury, missed the game. And then, of course, Aaron Jones and and Emmanuel Wilson at running back dealing with injuries to the Packers added James Robinson. But now both of those guys have been released. It came out as well on Monday that Dontavian Wicks is out of the concussion protocol per Matt LaFleur, and he was practicing. So it sounds like uh, Bo Melton is no longer needed on the active roster. And it's possible that both of these guys could potentially end up back on the practice squad if the Packers decide to add them back. And if we look at what uh, Bill Huber of Sports Illustrated had to say, he said this, with the release of Robinson, does that mean Jones, Aaron Jones, could be back in the lineup for Sunday night against the Kansas City Chiefs? And then Matt LaFleur said, said this, I think we're a long way from that coming to fruition. So it doesn't sound like Aaron Jones is going to be playing this upcoming Sunday against the Chiefs. Maybe he plays the following week. The Packers still haven't added him to the IR. So there's at least hope that he could be back in the next couple games. But coming in on Sunday against the Chiefs doesn't sound very likely per Matt LaFleur. And then another move the Packers have made is that Eric Stokes has been designated to return from the IR. He, of course, was activated off the PUP list early in the season after you know recovering for a very long time since his injury last year. And then, unfortunately, playing some special teams, he pulled it, or he injured his hamstring, and so he's been on the IR. But now he is designated to return from the IR, which means he could potentially play in the next couple games. And so now the question is, what are the Packers going to do at cornerback? We also need to throw in the fact that Jair Alexander was back at practice on Monday uh, after missing last week's game. So Jair could be back this next week. Looks like he should be in, uh, based on him practicing. Eric Stokes may be back soon. And recently, the Packers have been going with Corey Ballantyne, who played really poorly last week. According to PFF, Ballantyne allowed nine receptions for 171 yards against the Lions, so wasn't playing well. Carrington Valentine, on the other hand, seventh rounder, has been playing really, really well. If we look at Packers players who have at least played 10 snaps at cornerback, he has the lowest passer rating when targeted at 69.1. So Carrington Valentine has played really well. And with Jair back, I assume he takes this the spot of Corey Ballantyne on the outside. I would assume the Packers keep Carrington Valentine out there considering he's played really well and Keyshawn Nixon has continued to play in the slot. Then when Eric Stokes does come back to this roster, when he's ready to play, Will the Packers be willing to put him in over Carrington Valentine? I'm not so sure. Considering Valentine has played well, Stokes has not played in a while. Maybe they decide to ease him back through special teams as they tried early in the season. But we'll have to keep an eye on that and see how the Packers decide to um, you know, use that the cornerback room once these guys are fully back and fully healthy. A few final notes for this video. So here, this is from Acme Packing Company. Receiver Dontavian Wicks concussion. Inside linebacker Devondre Campbell neck. Cornerback Jair Alexander's shoulder and safety Rudy Ford biceps bicep all practice on Monday after missing last week's game against the Lions. So it looks like Wicks, Devondre Campbell, Jair Alexander, and Rudy Ford may all be able to play Sunday considering they practice on Monday. It's a great sign for the Packers who have been dealing with lots of different injuries. Then players who didn't practice here from Acme Packing Company. The players who are non-participants today, which is Monday, were running back Aaron Jones knee. Running back A.J. Dillon Groin, running back James Robinson, and receiver Bo Melton, both of whom were released. That's probably why they weren't practicing. And tight end Josiah DeGuara Hip. Jones and DeGuara didn't suit up against Detroit, but Dillon, Robinson, and Melton did. So A.J. Dillon, he had that groin injury before Sunday's game. He was still able to play. So I assume they're just giving him a day off to give him some rest. The Packers are pretty thin right now at running back. They, of course, also added Patrick Taylor back from the, the Patriots practice squad. And so I assume right now it looks like they're just going to go with A.J. Dillon and Patrick Taylor come Sunday, and then hopefully we'll see Aaron Jones back sometime soon. But those are pretty much all the things that happened on Monday for the Packers. If you want more Packers content like this, feel free to subscribe down below.